Hi everyone, I'm going to do a quick general reading um, just to reiterate when I do these, you know, this may or may not resonate with you. This is just, I'm letting the cards say whatever they want to say. So this is may or may not be your story. It's totally possible that you might be in a specific zodiac group if you've been following me for a few months and following your specific uh, zodiac sign videos. Um, that might be the energy group that you're in and this might may or may not be your energy group. So, you know, just if this doesn't resonate, just keep following the, um, the Zodiac readings that I do every two weeks. But, but yeah, this is just, this is, these are the random readings where I just kind of let the cards say whatever they want to say. And it's, this is whoever it's for. I don't know who it's for, you know, it's up to them, but let's see. I'm trying to get my life together so that I can come back to you with a stable love offer. Gossip and rumors played a role in our separation. So this could be someone that had like family or friends um, trying to separate you guys. Or this could be, could be on your end or theirs. You know, people just jealous of you not wanting to see you together. Or maybe people misunderstood you or they misunderstood them. Like friends trying to cause separation between you two. Trying to cause drama. I look at your pictures often. So this is someone who's like missing you and wanting you. But they're not reaching out. They're just kind of watching you from behind the scenes. I do get a sense of sadness that they feel alone with the um, people around them. They might, this might be a karmic situation. This person might have like a karmic or some, there's some kind of energy here where they have like a third party, but third party isn't always a person. A third party could be, I mean, it could be a, like a mother or a father figure or friends or um, career or just any kind of third party energy that, you know, is keeping you guys apart. Cause I sense like a sadness and a nostalgia from this person. Like they're, they're wanting to be close to you. Um, there's so much that they want to say to you. The situation involves children and obligations or childish energy. So this could be someone that has kids with a karmic, or it could be childish people around them. I really get the sense that there's like family or friends or like an ex or some type of karmic that's played a role in this separation here. Like they spread rumors about you or they um, didn't want to see, like could be like a family member that didn't want to see you guys together. Uh, could be jealous exes that, that separated you two. There's just the energy of someone around this person that... Um, is childish or there could be children involved in this situation and that could be why someone's staying with someone because there's gossip and rumors and childish energy and I feel like a sense of loneliness from this person like this person feels very alone like they really miss you they really um they really fantasize about you a lot is what I feel I love you and if this is sorry let me straighten this out for you And if this is your energy and your reading and you want a private reading, just send me an email. My email is right below in the description box. It is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. You can just copy and paste right from my description box below. I regret letting you go. I never should have left. So this might be someone that was pressured to let you go. Like they might have broken up with you or they might have ghosted you. And you might have been really confused about it. Like you might have felt you know, everything was perfect, but it's kind of like that energy where maybe someone put something in their head that caused them to distance themselves from you. So this could be like a, a toxic mother or father figure or some type of like family member that maybe said like, oh, this person, this person's not the same religion as you, or they're not the same ethnicity, or they're not, um, you know, the, the cultural differences or something. So, you know, you don't want to marry this person or, they might have um, could be like friends or other or jealous exes or someone that um, you know pressured them to to end this. You know, made them feel like this wasn't right for them. Maybe you made some mistakes in the past, and maybe they told this person. Like maybe they opened up to this person about how you hurt them in the past, and then this person got protective of them, and that's caused issues because you've worked on yourself and now you're trying to do better. But this person is like, 
Like, nah, you don't get another chance. Like, this is this is my daughter or my son or this is my best friend or this is my this is my ex, but we're still friends and I love them. Like you're, you're not getting another chance with them. Like you messed up, you know, it's that kind of energy where it's like, there's someone around in their energy field. That's, that's jealous or that's protective of them. That feels like for whatever reason, like you guys shouldn't be together. Um, and they, they might've put some ideas in your person's head. There might've been rumors as well. And maybe they believed the rumors because um, there's this energy where it's like they left or they ghosted you or they just they distanced themselves. And now they're kind of looking back and they're regretting it because whoever this person is, um, they're feeling a, like this person is still around them, I feel. Or their energy is still around them, at least. And they're feeling very alone with this person, like they're feeling like this person's like controlling them or this person's like overprotective or there's just some type of energy where it's like this, they feel like kind of almost like trapped. This could be a karmic situation too. This might be like, like the karmic said, Hey, like, you know, you're going to lose your kid if you don't, if you keep talking to this person or you're going to like, they put something about like, you know, like this is, how does that look? You know, like having this third party, like that doesn't, that doesn't look good. You know, you need to end things with her or end things with him, or I'm going to try to get custody of the kids, or I'm going to, um, tell people what you're really about or some kind of threat or something. Cause I, I, I just get a sense that your person is like around someone or around multiple people. So like they could be living at home with family or they could be stuck in a situation with like a karmic or something where they're really missing you they feel like a sense of like like you're their home like they want to come home to you like they feel nostalgic they feel I get like a great deal of pain from this person like they're really they were trying to do the right thing or the logical thing or they were maybe they were angry at you or maybe they were confused and so they let that confusion or that negative energy get the best of them and they listen to this little devil that whispered in their ear but now that energy, they're still around them. You know, they're still living at home or they're still around the karmic or whoever this person or this energy is, but they're feeling really alone now with this person. Like they're, um, they're just regretting it. Like they're, they're wanting, they're, they're seeing this person's true colors. Now they're wishing that they hadn't listened to this person about you. They wish that they had talked to you, that they had, um, you know, been stronger. They wish that they hadn't, made such an impulsive decision to break up with you or to ghost you they wish that they had really thought things out because now they're just like this sense of loneliness and pain and just really regretting letting you go and they feel like their home is with you and they want to come back to you but they're stuck in a bad situation now that they got themselves into I'm going through a rebirthing process, a psychic awakening. Yeah, some of them had to go down this path. I had a huge epiphany. So this could also be why this person's regretting it is maybe they were kind of in this like logical or um, guarded kind of negative energy where they're like, you know, listening to the gossip and the rumors and listening to those people that are that are, you know, talking crap about you. But now they're noticing the synchronicities and they're going through this psychic awakening process. And so they're having these epiphanies. They're like, oh my gosh, my person like isn't negative like I thought they were. They did they just made a mistake or like they're they're maybe they maybe, maybe like a truth came out. Like maybe they believed someone else about something. Maybe like someone lied to, to them about you or someone was like trying to make you look bad or something. And maybe someone told them the truth about a certain situation, like like someone lied to them about lied to them about you, which maybe caused them to distance themselves, or maybe they like spread rumors like, like, um, oh, like you don't want that girl. Like she she sleeps with everybody. Like she's she's just using you for sex or using you for money. Like you don't actually want her. And like instead of talking to you about it, he just kind of like, um, like detached and distanced himself because he didn't know how to call you out on it. He didn't know what to say. Um, or maybe like the friend, maybe like a friend told him and said like, Hey, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to warn you about her, but like, you can't, um, you can't tell her like, that's my, I'm friends with her. I don't want to ruin the friendship. So you got to promise me. You're not going to tell her that I told you this. And then he made that promise and then he regrets it. Cause now he can't talk to you about it. You know, could be male or female, but it, it's just that kind of energy. You know, each story is going to be different, but it's, it's that energy where there was someone that separated you two. someone. And I don't know if you know about it or not. Um, 
I feel like you'd probably you'd probably have some sense of it. You'd probably feel like a, some kind of negativity coming from someone. But um, but yeah, the truth might have whoop, dropping all my cards. Nothing to see here, just clumsy girl problems. <laughs> um, the truth might have come out though about someone might have someone might have either physically gone to them and said, "Hey, like." I, I messed up. I lied because I was jealous or I, or I lied because I was scared. I, um, or like some, maybe another one of their friends was like, nah, like that. You shouldn't have listened to that girl. She's just jealous of her. She always lies about her. Like, that's not the truth. You know, like someone like told them the truth, either consciously, physically, or they might've just had like an epiphany, like, um, spiritually, like having dreams about you and connecting with you on more of a soul level. Like they might be the psychic connection between you two might be deepening. So they might be having this like awareness that, um, just having this, this kind of like awareness that there's, that, that they were wrong about something or that they made a mistake and they should have listened to you. They should have talked to you. They shouldn't have been so, so hasty to, um, to distance themselves. I think about you all the time. The nostalgia hurts deeply. I get a, I get a deep sense of nostalgia and pain and just longing for home and there's, and spying on you. I've been spying on you and I observe and notice every little Thing about you I read your social media posts um you came on strong I wasn't ready for it maybe a specific message for one of you I'm going to reach out I'm searching for the right words to say so it's like I communicate with you through songs and movies it's like it's a really emotional reading because I feel a lot like I almost want to cry while I'm doing this reading and I'm like channeling your person like they're like on the verge of tears like they're they're they realize they made a huge mistake now whether this was what however the, however this realization came about they're they're finally having these epiphanies that you've been hoping they've had they would have they're fantasizing about you sexually as well you might have multiple options coming in you're so empathetic and kind and inspirational and it's inspiring me to open up to you I'm romantic and I'm emotional. I usually hide it well, but you bring out my softer side. So yeah, that's, there it is. Um, and if this resonates and you want a reading, just like I said, send me an email below. Any donations are appreciated too, even just a dollar. It really adds up quickly. Um, and please subscribe if this resonates. Thank you for watching.